And we're back with more Dragon Quest 3. This is part 4. So, now that we're all equipped up and everything with all the best equipment this town has to offer, we want to move on with the plot. Now, you notice, we talked to all the people in the town. They didn't tell us really anything other than, oh, you're going on a journey, you know, defeat Baramos. Uh, we actually have to go into, if you want to know what to do next, you have to go into the castle and talk to the people there. Uh, not, not the guards. The guards are worthless. Let's just talk to the people, like, just around. Okay, that's a locked door. The thief, Bakoda, made a key that opens all sorts of simple door locks. If I had such a key, I would be sneaking into this and that. Hey, <laughs> hey. Bakoda thieved all over town, but now he's stuck in jail. The idiot. Hmm. So, we have a guy who made a key that could open simple doors, such as that door there. Uh, I don't think it would open this, though, but, um... Oh, you moved. And he's in the jail here, so we'll want to go talk to him. Have you seen the princess? Princess, oh dear, dear. Another thing, the princess is kind of missing there. So that's also locked. So we've seen all these locked doors. Let's look in here. There's a tiny metal in there. That's another one. And there's an antidote in there, so if we ever get poisoned, here's a quick pick me up. I believe you gotta go out here for the jail. Maybe. They won't let me out because it's dangerous, stupid demon lord. I hate being cooped up. I tried to sneak out a while back, but father caught me. He's much sharper than he looks. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get in there, I don't think. Ah, yeah, it's locked. Ah, but we can't get in here. And I believe this is the where the jail is. This is the dungeon. You can talk to the prisoners through their cell bars. Blast that coot it in a Jimmy Tower. The foggy locked me, Bakoda, up and made off with my key. If I had my thief key, I could have opened any red door. Dang, blast it. Ah, so we have a lead. There's a tower nearby. That's probably the tower he's talking about. Can't get in there. It's another red door. So let's go and go up the tower and find that guy and, and, and whoop his ass. And uh, there you go. And... We'll uh, be able to open some of these doors, and, uh... See, you dumbass princess is missing. What are you talking about? Oh, princess! What am I doing? She's, like, just hanging out. Well, anyway, uh, you know, we'll go, you know, whoop the guy's ass, which, since I'm pretty overleveled at this point, shouldn't be a problem, especially having all the best equipment. And, uh, then we'll have the thief's key. So you can see that that's right there. Actually, can I get to it from here? I think I gotta go south of the town to get there. Uh, I'm not, I, I might be wrong. Let's see. See, it's four ravens and a slime. Not totally a big deal at all. Yeah. We're actually not gonna whoop the guy's ass. I'm pretty sure he just gives it to you. But, you know, I like to talk about uh, whooping ass and whatnot. He just gives it to you. I might just, like, I don't know, talk some smack at him. Wait, do I gotta go through here to get to the cave? To get to the... See, I'm out of my mind. To get to the tower? I think I do. It's been a while. Okay. Let's check out up here. Ah, shit. Taki mushrooms. We got three anteaters. Fuck you. Alright, as he was promoted to level 5, hit points up by 3, magic points up by 1, strength up by 2, agility up by 3, vitality up by 2, intelligence up by 1, luck up by 1, and I learn heal. Alright, so what do we got here? A traveler's cloak. Yeah, that's for selling. Oh. Two anteaters. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dick went up to level 6. Hit points up by 1, magic points up by 4, strength up by 1, agility up by 2, vitality up by 1, intelligence up by 2, and luck up by 4. Alright, that's another treasure chest here. 56 gold. That's pretty cool. Alright, 
Alright, so just a raven and a slime. Not exactly a huge deal there. Alright, so these four slimes. There's one more area I want to check out before I move on. Dork, 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 dork. Alright, fuck you! Okay. Let me just backtrack them down here. Alright. Ah! Three horny hairs and a raven. I don't know if they realized the innuendo when they named it horny hair. I mean, it's got a horn, you know, a horny hair. You know. Still. I don't know if they realize that or not. Okay, and here we have an herb. That's a quick heal. If you don't want to use magic points, you can use that. Or if you're out of magic points in a desperate moment, you can use that. Alright, so slime and a horny hair. Slime got dicked. Oh, what do we got? An herb. Okay. Let's see, we are actually in the tower. Um, can go up, but I believe there's an inn on the first floor. I mean, you, you start off, I think you're over it. I don't know, I'm just going to look around a little. There's some butterflies. Oh, God, missed. Critical! Surround just makes them harder to hit because you're in a fog. Surrounded by fogs, so we're going to be missing a lot. That <laughs> didn't help much. Alright. Pull out the magic. Oh, never mind, he got dicked. And shit went up to level 6, hit points up by 1, magic points up by 3, strength up by 1, agility up by 2, vitality up by 1, intelligence up by 3, and luck up by 4. So here's three horny hairs and a slime. No! Jumping on me. Work, 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 work. Bam, you got God slapped. Alright, well, let's, let's check that out, actually. Oh, well, wonderful. That puts me back in the castle. <laughs> okay, we'll actually use that to, to go back so we don't have to go through that cave and all that shit. Alright, three horny hairs. This is not a very big dungeon. It's only like three or four stories, I believe. Okay, so there's 32 gold in that treasure chest. Well, fuck. Okay, four in eaters and a frog ore. I'll have God attack the frog ore. Dork, dork. Dork, dork. Love those sound effects. Dork, dork. 8-bit goodness right there. You get dicked. And you're assed out. And you got God Slash. Right. Okay, that's locked. Can't get through there. Let's go up here. Uh, oh, where does this put me? I think I know where this puts me over there. Okay, alright. So it's all connected, as you see. Yeah, and there's a structure there. I don't believe you can get into that. I'll... Yeah, it's locked, as you see. No silver doors. Alright, let's go up the tower proper. Don't forget that there's a door there for the thief's key, of course. Lots to do, lots to do. Alright, two slimes and an anteater. Okay, 
So here's the tower proper. Nothing over there. Whole lot of nothing there as well. Okay, so here we have an anteater and two ravens. Shit! How do they all have skulls? Seems like a, a bit of a, a bit of curious bullshit to me. Nothing here. Nothing there. Okay, three anteaters and an, also another anteater. Yeah. Leather helmet! Leather well, hat, really, but uh, let's see about that, actually. Well, I'm gonna just, just equip it right here for Assy. Awesome. That was worth checking out that room, even though there's nothing in there. So here we have three frog ores and an anteater. I'm just gonna blaze the anteater. Boom! Okay. Boink, boink. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, there's the staircase. Ah, it goes down. I want to go down there. Ah, you're the first guest in too long a while. I'm delighted. Hello, welcome to our inn. Eight gold a night? I think it's worth it. So we've been through a lot so far, so we'll stay there. Morning, have a nice day. Okay, yeah, sure. Alright, check out up here as well. Okay, we got two horny hairs and a butterfly. Boom! Got slapped. Okay, that's the exit. That just puts you on a little tiny island. Just making sure there's nothing else over here before we go up to the next floor. Whole bunch of frog ores and a raven. Blaze the raven. Boom! You got Glenn Bett. Critical! Well, it's going exceedingly well. Eat shit. Okay. Up we go. I want to fall off, obviously. Oh, it's my phone. All right, just some ravens here. I need a chance to dig my phone out of my pocket. Yeah, it's a Facebook thing, no big deal. Fuck you! Two damage. I'm almost walking off the side here, that's no good. Nothing there. Okay, three anteaters and a raven. I guess this video isn't going to be a shorter one because I was hoping to just get through this and, and then end it, you know, after the tower. I don't really want to do like too many short videos when I'm doing a long RPG, but like I said, I, was just... I try to break them at logical points too. God went up to level seven, hit points up by three, strength up by four, vitality up by one, luck up by one. Okay, two butterflies and two frog ores. Boom! Okay, there we go. Let's check 
got up here. Oh, right. Well, let me let me finish checking that out. Actually, oh fuck! <laughs> Just some butterflies. You don't need to really stop and fight. You know, like kill butterflies. You know, they pretty much leave you alone. I've never in my life been attacked by a butterfly. See, they didn't even attack. Okay. All right. Ugh, irritating. And eaters in a ba uh, and a babble. Hopefully that's enough to kill the babble. It was good. Point point. Point point. Dick blasted. Assed out. Got slapped. Here. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, fuck you. Okay, so four anteaters and a frog or <laughs> Boy, glad I did all that grinding, huh? <laughs> Dragon Quest games are hard until you just learn to just buckle down and grind a little, you know, and then they're not so hard. Just enough to get the best equipment at each town. It's just it's not that hard, you know? What do we got? A warp wing. Okay, I can come in useful. Come in here. Aha, there we go. That's where we wanted to go. Snore. <laughs> here at last, S, you say? I've dreamt of this ceaselessly. I'm giving you this thief key. That's because you know I was coming up here to whoop your ass, right? You'll take it? Yeah. So we got the thief key. By the way, Assy, there are books that can change the personality of any reader. They are that persuasive. Be careful if you find such a book. Now go, Assy. I shall resume my dreaming. Personality doesn't have much of dreaming. Let's see. Found the tomboy book. So if you want to make somebody into a tomboy, you could do that. No special books there. I don't find that that useful because the personality is just... Certain characters react in certain ways to you because of the personalities, but, uh, have I been up here? I think I was, I just want to double check. It's... it doesn't play into the stats all that much, really, so... in there. Okay. So let's just step off. Take off, hoser! And we'll step back in. Let's immediately go down there. Because there's a door up there I want to open. So he's a frog or and two slimes. It's not exactly a big threat here. Open up. Oh, dick. So here's an anteater, another anteater, and there's four anteaters. I was gonna go anteater, another anteater, another anteater. That's irritating. And there's a frog right there, too. There was. He's already dead. He was promoted to level 6. Hit points up by 2, magic points up by 1, strength up by 2, agility up by 3, vitality up by 1, luck up by 1. Dick went up. Yes, Dick went up to level 7. Hit points up by 5, magic points up by 7, strength up by 1, agility up by 1, vitality up by 2, intelligence up by 3, luck up by 3. So let's see, here we have an agility seed. I'm going to immediately use that on my hero. Actually, yeah, you have it. Use on Assy. So my agility just went up by 3. And there's a wooden hat there, so let's check that out. 
Well, it's better than the, uh... Just, it's better than what I had, so I'm just gonna equip it there. And then I will take the leather one and pass that down to somebody who could use it, such as God. I'm giving it to God. Alright, here we go. I can get out quickly by going this way, so... Okay, I'm going to stop here. I will see you guys in two days with more Dragon Quest 3, and I will see you guys in... Oh, let me do the, the save to file thing. See, before I was doing the wrong way. So I will see you guys in two days with more Dragon Quest 3, and... Well, tomorrow, actually. And I will see you tonight, we'll play some Action 52. See you then.